Five here at Big 550 KTRS. For 15 years, I've been interviewing this next guest. He's a congressman, congressional uh, member, re- Republican from the Illinois side of the river. Congressman John Shimkus, welcome back. Big 550 KTRS. McGraw, it's great to be with you. You are, your party is finally back in power in the House. Uh, what does that mean? A bigger office? Nicer bigs? <laughs> Uh, well, it, seniority doesn't matter, and uh, I did move to another office. It's, it's strategically placed between my two committee rooms, so it works out well. And, right. Um, Seem, no. It seems like you're working with the president a little bit better these days. The let's, let's say Republican maybe the president is working with us a little or bit better. Either way. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I think it's an interesting time. Um, I, I think we've been in the majority in the House for quite a a couple of years, you know, of course, right. with McConnell coming into the majority, and that's Congress as a whole. Right. Um, I, I think there is a desire to get some things accomplished. Not everything has to break down on partisan lines. I mm-hmm. mean, we, uh, infrastructure, we're going to have to deal with that again, a short-term extension, long-term bill. Uh, our committee's moving a, a bill called the 21st Century Cures, which will raise NIH funding. That's not it's not partisan. Right. Um, and it's moved through the subcommittee with a full vote just last week, and that's going to move in the direction. Uh, we had a, a health care reform bill, uh, the doctor fix, which was right. actually I, I, I used to be sacrilegious to some of my supporters on the other side of the river. I finally went up to uh, Leader Pelosi and thanked her for being involved in that negotiation because what we did was we, we did a doc fix, we reformed Medicare a little bit, and that's something we've been dealing with for 18 years. Right. It's just, it was just bad public policy that we could never fix, and we eventually, you know, fixed that. So, um, yeah, I think people like two things. People like legislating again. Right. Um, and I think we we do much better when we allow the committee process to work because that's where you've got smaller groups of republicans and democrats in a subcommittee we have relationships because we we're spending a lot of time with each other and if we can get to compromise with them then it makes it easier to get that compromise on the floor so uh interesting let's talk patriot act because you yeah. voted in favor of amending the patriot act and telling the government that they can't spy on everything they were spying on well it's the basic premise is the bulk collection of data and that means bulk collection of data right. held by the government and this this changed the process of saying the government can't hold the bulk collection. Now, can they still go with a, a valid court order? Can they they do what they need to do? We think they can, but just grabbing information and the government holding it mm-hmm. um, is is it was objectionable to uh, I, many people in my, in my congressional district. On both sides, it's uh, that's a very interesting issue because I think a, some people say, "Hey, wait a minute! The government's got to do whatever the government has to do to make us safe." That was the argument ten years ago. Now they're saying, hey, wait a minute, this, this, the government doesn't need to do this anymore? Well, I think there's a, the fine line. I mean, it's probable cause. Right. I mean, when, do you, when can you snoop and when can you not snoop? And uh, if our community is working together, part about the Patriot Act or part of uh, Homeland Security in that whole time was to make sure that the CIA and the FBI talked. Right. And that was important because they didn't. The CIA may have known of some bad guys. The FBI may have known some bad guys, but if they're not communicating, how can the federal law enforcement officials talk with our intel community? Right. Uh, but then it also morphed to this, let's collect all this data, let's new computer programming, and let's analyze just information that we haven't specifically been able to identify as coming from someone who may desire harm against us and our interests. So. Uh, that's that's all we're trying to get to, and it's it's tough. It's a tough debate of if you're going to go too far, or you know, if if we're if bulk collection of data has stopped major attacks, right, and we stop that bulk co- collection, then we're going to someone's going to say, see, you know, I, I right. told you, right. But uh, the the push for individual civil liberties and this new era of communications and the digital age and everybody knowing where everybody is at any time. Uh, people want us to pull back a yeah. little bit from that. Now that overwhelm that passed the House overwhelmingly. Right, it's going to have a hard time in the Senate, though. Well, it, it right now it seems to have a hard time, but just like the doc fix legislation, uh, the Senate eventually had to accept our language. Mm-hmm. So they, you know, the way a bill becomes law, you could have two bills. Right. They could be a little bit separate. Then you go to conference, work them out. But sometimes there's uh, a bill comes out of one chamber. And it's it's the best we're going to get, right. and then a clock is ticking. Yeah, 
and then they, they have to accept to that other Way language. Way to force the Senate to take your, your language. <laughs> yeah, it was great. We loved it. Congressman <laughs> John, John Shimkus uh, from the Illinois District. Always a pleasure, sir. Thanks for stopping thanks, by. Thanks for having me. You got it. It is uh, 9 o'clock. We'll talk about...